In today's video, I'm going to share my recipe and method for these fudgy but fluffy cookies and cream gluten-free brownies. For the recipe, you will need 150 grams of butter and 150 grams of chocolate, 75 grams of gluten-free flour, 50 grams of cocoa powder, 180 grams of sugar, three medium eggs and a pack of these gluten-free cookies and cream biscuits. So you can pick up these biscuits at most supermarkets now in the free from section and they're pretty much just like Oreos. They are cream filled and they have that dark chocolate cookie outside. I've also lined a tin. This is set to an eight inch square. And if you'd like to see how I easily line my cake tins, I'll link a video above. I'm going to melt my chocolate and butter and I'm just using a saucepan with about one inch of water in the bottom. Now we've started boiling, I'm going to pop my bowl on top and reduce the heat and then just use that steam to gently melt the chocolate and the butter. Alternatively, you could do this in the microwave, but just make sure that you do short little bursts stirring in between so that you don't burn your chocolate. Now the chocolate has completely melted, I'm going to pop that to one side just to cool down a bit. While that's cooling, I'm going to pop my sugar and eggs in a bowl and whisk until pale and creamy. You could do this with a hand mixer or a whisk too. So this is what we're looking out for, this kind of consistency and colour. So now that's done, I'm going to add in my melted chocolate and butter mix and then sift my flour and cocoa on top. Carefully fold all of this together so you don't knock out any of the air until it's just combined. Just check that you don't have any pockets of flour or cocoa that hasn't been mixed in. Not only am I putting the cookies on top, I'm also putting some into the brownies too. I'm simply just breaking a few into large chunks and giving it a quick stir through. Spoon this delicious mixture into your lined tin and then crumble a few more biscuits on top. Spread them out nice and even so that each piece gets a bit. Oh, there's one left, so that's for me while they're baking. And I'm gonna pop these into a preheated oven on 170 degrees Celsius or 340 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 30 to 35 minutes. So these have just come out of the oven and to check for readiness, I've inserted a skewer into the middle and if it has a few crumbs stuck to it like this, it's done. If it's still a little bit liquidy, pop it back in for five minutes and then check again. Make sure that you allow it to cool completely in the pan and then you can slice and serve. It just makes it so much easier. I like to trim away the edges first and then I cut them into bite-sized pieces, which I get 16 of, but if you do like larger pieces, you could get nine bigger ones. The biscuits do make it a little bit trickier to cut, so bigger probably is easier. Either way, these taste amazing and I promise no one would even know that they're gluten free. I hope you found the video tutorial helpful and please do consider subscribing to my channel for more recipes, tips and cake decorating ideas.